huh. Ah, there's game audio. And... Getting everything sorted at the last possible second. I've got to work on my organization skills, like I say every other time. Whatever. Regardless, welcome to that little thing I do on weekends. Touchpad. Quit being stubborn. Ah. Okay. Stupid laptop. Um. Yeah. Navigator EX here, and hopefully this will be my last episode of the first Devil May Cry today. Because I'm up to the end of it. Ah! Okay, I think I need to update my uh, checklist to remind myself to mute the TV when I start this up. Or at least turn it down. Ooh. Okay. I actually thought I was a level ahead of where this is saved. Uh, regardless, I have one evil hell overlord man to explode with devil power bullets. I, I, I'm waiting for the soda to kick in. I'm waiting for the that caffeine hit. Unlike yesterday. Yesterday was yesterday was nice. Actually being awake. Hmm. Whew. So I'm trying to remember exactly how I failed last week, and uh, drawing a blank, probably should have paid a little bit more attention to the end of that. Welcome back, King Thunder. Welcome back. It is going well. I am skimming through things. Wondering, because I'm going to need that untouchable. Let's see. Vital star. Yeah. Considering the way things shook out last time, I uh, think it would probably be prudent for me to just kind of treat this as an experiment run. Uh, the yellow orb would have been... Well, given the way things are, I don't know that the yellow orb would be to my benefit, but uh, yeah, I'll go with the devil star for the moment. Uh, just waking up, just warming up. Because I remember... The bullet hell that awaits me to a limited extent. Fireballs from the sky, giant boulders from in front, and a certain button to rock the dragon. That's going to take me a moment. Hmm. Ah, yes. The process of trial and error and improving and taking a boss down. Yeah. Can't wait to get to the part with Virgil, because I want to see how that is. That's... Yeah, ooh. Huh. Yeah, when I almost inevitably die on this mission, I'm going to remember that, picking up a second untouchable. And then saving, just to... <laughs> just to see if maybe I can farm those on the off chance. As a matter of fact... Oh, wow. You know... Yeah, I'm gonna skip it this time, because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die. Um, just in case I can somehow farm those. I don't want to lose all my orbs saving right now. So I am definitely gonna pick that up. After I approach the Lincoln Monument. Ooh, give me a second. Flex my fingers. Mm. Starting to cool down a little bit outside. And uh, I'm sure the people at work would hate me for saying this, but I'm kind of hoping for a white Christmas. I don't think it's going to happen with 45 degrees tamps outside. <laughs> no ice on the road, just, you know. I keep forgetting you can skip the cutscenes in here. Okay. So mm. Trish! Don't even think about it. Blink. She dies. Blink, 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 blink. 
Did Mundus just not think that would make him blink? I should be able to remember where that second antenna key is. It's like TFS just did a playthrough of that. I watched that not long ago. I feel like I should be saying something right now, but, um, yeah. I'm gonna let this scene play out just this once. You know, on second thought, he's kind of right. It is time to end his pitiful life. A pitiful life will be ended, one way or another. Oh, man. Ah, you got snowfall, all right. Hopefully nothing too dangerous. Yeah. When it comes to snow down here in, in Georgia, people don't know how to handle it. They, honestly, I don't know if they, don't know if it's snow or if they think it's like albino brain chiggers out to come and kill them or whatever, but uh, yeah, people forget that gravity is a thing and instead of staying in indoors and off of the roads like normal people would do when confronted with a problem, they have to go out there, get in it, drive as fast as they can. Oh. Ah! Yep, this is gonna be short. Whoa! Okay, one more hit and I'm out. And I don't think I have any yellow orbs to... speak of. Nope, I don't. Okay. Just pop that vital star real quick. Hmm. Okay. Whoa, what's he doing? Okay. I'm still trying to remember a little bit more of this guy's patterns, so I don't, uh... Square button? Okay. Yep. I suppose I should also be paying more attention to when I can fire that off. I'm assuming it's around a three or ooh. Around the three room mark. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I did. I do recall saying that how Trish is, uh, her driving is about how um, drivers are around here. Couldn't really say it's much different between uh, snow and rain and regular weather. I just don't think that folks around around here know what roads are for. You know. I think traffic's just kind of that thing where people send their children to play in, mostly. <laughs> okay, oh, here we go. Oh, a little dodge. All right, it was three. You take a lot less off of his health bar. Okay. Pop these. Okay. These little needlers. Try to keep moving. Okay. Okay. Yep. Okay. Well, that didn't work. Okay. I am dead. Oh, boy. The golden rule of shmups. Something that I have quite a bit more trouble with than I'd like. Um, it's probably going to sound kind of bad. The closest to a shmup I've ever had any real success in was Galaga. So... <laughs> oh, boy. It's a genre that I like to... I like to play a little bit of. I like to watch a little bit of. 
I am no good at actual shmups. Not not counting Galagar, really. I'm not... Because... <laughs> vertical space shooter, to me, does not really equal shmup. But, you know, the bullet hell shooters, that's what I'm bad at. That's what I'm ridiculously bad at. Which really makes me wonder why I picked up Ikaruga on Xbox 360. But all that being said, I don't regret that. I just never actually beat it. Okay, where am I? Now, to take care of that little untouchable thing, let's see, where did you say that was at? Nightmare, where I fought him the third time. Okay. Oop! Yeah, open up the little membrane door. Huh. Well, my memories seem to be a longer trip than this. Right. And what? Ah, there we go. Well then, since I just died a moment ago, let's see if I can rack up a few of these. Just... Oh boy, this is going to be cheesy. Okay, I've heard of Cybernator. I can't say... I'm not sure about Assault Suit Lanos. Okay. Let's see, where's some scrap paper, right? Yeah, I've got to work on the whole scrap paper thing. Okay. But it's in chat, so I can scroll up to that in just a moment once I die again. Or, I could do that thing that I've done a couple of times before, and use my phone. Alright. <sighs> Unplug already. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of hard moving through that door with just one hand. Okay. Let's see, remember where Mundus was? Alright. Yeah, I can't remember if saving really keeps track of the items either. Um, I think it keeps track of some of them. Um, I suppose since I'm gonna, about to check my uh, items here, as I currently have just the one untouchable because I forgot to buy anything. That was kind of dumb on my part, but whatever. Okay, Cybernate. Hmm. Well, there's something else for me to look up when I get a Sega Genesis. Aside from the personal playtime that I'll probably dedicate to uh, playing Risk. Man, I miss that Genesis version of Risk. Never really fancied myself a strategist, because I lost at the game quite a bit, but it was fun. I liked the music, I liked the gameplay. Something about it. Something about it was just. It just stuck with me, was all. Now I have a PC version of Risk that I've been meaning to install and test, but I don't think I've used it on any PC that I've ever owned that did, did not have XP on it. Um, it's all... So I don't even know if it works on Windows 7 or 10, which, like most things, it probably does. Whoa! Okay. I did have some problems with Metal Gear Solid 2 running on Windows 7. That was unfortunate. Which, until I got that copy of Substance, I didn't even know that they released any Metal Gear games on PC for the longest time. Alright. Let's see. How you doing? Oh, he's got his little death balls out. Here we go. Try to keep it nice and tight on him. Okay, whoa, my pattern changed.
Okay. Why have I not fired my devil trigger off yet? What am I thinking? Whoa! Out of his way. Whew. This is going to take a bit of focus. Okay. A little bit of rain. Oh. But not heavy rain, because I'm not giving David Cage the satisfaction. <laughs> oh. Him or his oxygen tent. Okay. 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 For some reason, my brain's not going to work counterclockwise. <laughs> uh, don't ask me. I don't know. I don't get it. Okay, here we go. It'd be kind of nice if that gave some health back, too. Okay. 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 Just a little more juice. Okay. Him and his little needles. Ah, come on, crap. Thankfully, they allow a good bit of wiggle room in his tracking. I'm just miserable at dodging. Okay, here we go. Okay, that hurt him quite a bit. Ooh, boy, another round. Okay, whoa! Uh... Yeah, counterclockwise, I think, would it be a, a bit more beneficial to learn here, because... Oh! Well, there it goes. Oh, boy. Pepsi Man. Hmm. <laughs> I wish they had that in the U.S. version. So Pepsi Man is unlockable only in the Japanese version? Oh, man. Um... Did not know that. Um, I remember getting a Sega Saturn like years ago, and Fighting Vipers was one of the few games I actually really got to get on there. So I had a bit of practice with that, and sadly, <laughs> nothing that uh, nothing that crazy. Um, trying to remember some of the characters in Fighters Mega Mix, though, because they dumped a lot of their characters into that one game. And it was it was supposed to be crazy. Okay. Man, now I'm kind of wishing I had a copy of uh, Virtua Fighter 2, or whatever the highest version of Virtua Fighter that isn't 4 is available on 360. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Griffin. Let's see. Okay, well, I can't buy that untouchable. It's probably because of the one that I... Hmm. Huh. Okay, let's see. The blue orb would have been nice. Uh, why didn't I get the farming thing? Oh, the ripoff Jotaro. He was the one that I actually kind of liked. Uh, Jotaro, whatever. He's one of the ones I actually kind of liked playing. I think it was uh, Bon was his name. Um, I tended to favor Bon and Picky, the skateboard guy, quite a bit when I was playing. Um, sadly, I can't remember all of their names. I seem to remember the boss was like Mahler or something. But yeah, 
bond kind of stuck with me, and I don't know really why. <sighs> kind of wish I'd known a bit more about uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure at the time. Because if that was the gag, I totally wasn't privy to it. Okay. Whoa. All right, now to see if that one thing is there. Because if it's there again, then what I'm going to do each time is just book it back there, grab the untouchable, and save. And somehow I'm not expecting that to actually be a thing. I'm not expecting it to shake out like that every time. It'd be too exploitable. I think I'm going the wrong side, though. Either that or... I think it was supposed to have been over there. Yeah, don't think it's going to spawn in this time, so... No untouchable exploit. really respect the amount of skill that can be done for a regular, non-tool-assisted speedrun. It's not something I think I would ever really be able to pull off. Can't think of any games that I've played enough to really do that. Well, I mean, I could probably do it like one or two like really old games or something with a bit of practice, but it wouldn't be like record setting or anything. Because I do remember how to get through Super Mario World in like 11 levels. So, if there's a glitch to make that even faster, I'd give it a shot. Okay, now let's see if I can remember. Okay, counterclockwise. Something to do with how he's inverted is really throwing me for a loop. Okay, out of the way of the... Okay. Okay. Here's... Okay, move, 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 move. And apparently... Okay, where's it? Oh, man. Now that's something I'd like to see. Speedrun of an Armored Core game. Oh, man. Yeah, I think we know where my uh, my score would be down on the list. It'd be down at the bottom end, but I'd have fun with every second of it. Oh. Okay. Okay, I think I'm getting a little better at counterclockwise. Oh, nope. Nope, do not need to stop. Also need to watch his hands. Okay. Where was it? Whoa, out of his way. Oh, he did the horizontal and crap. dump this. Okay. Okay, for the brief moment that I can stand still and just hit those things as much as I can. Oh, that's not going to be good. Okay. Because he doesn't have those stupid defense board things. Okay, down. Okay, down again. Okay. Okay, I think I'm starting to... Speedrunning fighting games. Um, most likely there's some speedrun somewhere of like the arcade modes of some games. Um, especially ones with advanced... Oh, crap. Advanced story or campaign modes. Like, uh, I think like Tekken 6. Might be a thing to check out there. Because uh, Soul Calibur 2 also comes from... Whoa! Move! Crap! Um, time to rock the dragon. Um, 
if nothing else, there. Oh. oh, wrong button. There are ways to exploit AI in a lot of fighting games, so that would be something to actually look up. See if uh, anyone's got like an optimal move set and a way to kind of dupe the AI into doing stupid things. Also, the game Dive Kick comes to mind, and uh, <laughs> I don't know. The real dive kicking simulator. Okay, come on. Okay, gotta move a little faster than that. Okay. Okay. Okay, so there goes my guess of, hey, the corners are kind of safe there. Oh! Let's see. Oh, nice! See, I'm trying to think of another fighting game that might be good for a speedrun. Mm. I don't know, I'm drawing a blank on fighting games with good story modes, but yeah, Tekken 6 comes to mind for some reason. Because it had that little campaign mode off to the side. You shot me in the balls, and now you must die! Oh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. Which, which weapon? Okay. Uh... Hmm. Actually, this is one of those times I might need to stick with that. Okay, come on. Uh... Okay, I admittedly have no idea what I'm doing at this part, so... Yeah, time to... Explore a little bit. Okay! So the sword somehow has, like, a lot of range. Okay, where am I, and can I get off the ground? Am I still hitting him from here? No, I am not. Okay. Either that, or these things need to go. Okay. Okay, his hits are a little bit harder than mine. Oh boy. Well, the untouchables aren't exploitable. It would probably have helped if I'd used that thing. Um, yeah. Okay, so the first part I can clear. This is gonna... Oh my god, I'm gonna hate to make the comparison here. This is gonna be like Dark Souls for me for a bit, while I experiment, clear the first part, and then figure out his behaviors on the second part. Not just because it's hard, just because I need to actually build the skill back up. Uh, I am not honestly comparing Devil May Cry to Dark Souls. That's not what I'm trying to say. Because that, that'd be kind of... I'm about to have a protracted cuphead moment if I do. Okay. Little star. Can't get the blue. Holy water. Whoop. Probably should have gotten more devil stars. Whatever. Okay. I promise this is not Dark Souls. That's not even the comparison I'm trying to make. This is nowhere near that. Oh, God, I feel like an idiot for even saying that. I really do. Um, I went through this same kind of process in Dark Souls, but that's just because of the fact that I didn't know what I was doing. That holds true here. I don't pretend to know what I'm doing, so... Don't take that as me actually directly comparing this to Dark Souls. It is very not. Oh, my God. Oh, I've got. There's got to be some better way for me to preface when I say something that that seemingly stupid. Um. Oh. Okay. So I know not to buy any more holy water. Okay. 
Thank you. Thank you. Whoa! Look up. Look up. Oh, out of the way. Okay. So, the Har Brothers Hanzos are going to be back in stock in January. So, oh, out of the way. So, that'll probably be about the time I start really doubling down on grabbing a Dreamcast. Because I kind of want to get five games for it, and I don't know which five yet. That'll partly depend on whether or not I can get a modded Dreamcast or not. Let's see if I can pick up some Japanese guys. Yeah. yeah, don't worry about have, not having said anything earlier. Just consider that my penance for even remotely coming close to comparing this game to Dark Souls, so... Ugh... <sighs> I probably deserved it. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. Come on. Uh, let's see if I can keep from getting hit so bad in this in this phase. It'll give me a bit more time to experiment in part two. Okay, he's gonna do his little roll up. Oh. Oh, for a second I wasn't thought I wasn't gonna be able to dodge. Okay, come on. Back to the good stuff. Uh, okay. Let's see if we can skip that with a uh, little dragon action. Oop! Oop! Move! Oop! Whoa! Okay. Wrong game, Mundus. This is not asteroids. Okay, come on. It's two down. Okay. I think that was something that was kind of getting me down before um, last week, was that I didn't quite realize those big dark balls of his are um, a defense mechanism, and I got that pretty early this time. Dynamite Cop, yeah. I'm going to have to look that one up. I forgot all about that one. I've only ever read anything about it in a magazine, and I haven't picked up a game mag in years, so... I can't say I remember anything about it, just that I remember liking what I read, so... Super interested. Okay, come on. Okay, and... Okay, that, that didn't quite help my case. As soon as this next event happens, I will take another quick look at those suggestions. Come on, Mundus. Oh, come on. Okay, you know what? Rock the Dragon. Here we go. Rise from the... Yes, the Dreamcast version of Resident Evil 2. I mean, I have the 64 version. I would really rather play the Dreamcast version because I seem to recall it having extra features, and the load times are much shorter. Oratorio Tangram, that would be another great one. Yes, yeah. Let's see, where's my phone? As a matter of fact, yeah. Okay. Boy. Well, time for part two. See how far I can get before he rips me to shreds. Oh! That's a little different. Okay. Is he gonna hit any of those defense orbs? Come on, Dante. Oh. 
Okay. I have one untouchable. I kind of don't want to burn it yet. I'm going to go Devil Star, and since that's not going to fix my... Why didn't I go Vital Star first? Oh, God. That was dumb. That was very dumb. I keep forgetting that it kicks you right back into the game the moment you use an item. Okay, so it's going to be Vital Star takes priority over everything, then Devil Star, then the Untouchable. Hmm. Okay. And no Holy Waters other than what I already had. Okay, one Vital... Can't purchase anything else, so out. Okay. Well, here we go. Uno Mas. I've actually played a little bit of uh, Virtual On, as a matter of fact, by way of Xbox 360, so I've seen a little bit of it. It was... It, it was obviously a demo. Um, can't remember it too well. I remember the controls were kind of difficult to get used to. It was not something I was expecting. Definitely like to spend more time with it. So, I pick up a Dreamcast. I might have to grab that one pretty early on. Whoa! Focus. Focus. Oh, come on. <laughs> Oh, he is not playing around. Mm. Ah. Oh. I don't seem to recall him, whoa, layering the ranged attacks before. Okay, here we go. Oh, come on. Okay, so I should be able to consistently get through this part unless I just botch this really bad. Okay. Now, if I were to score a Sega Saturn a little further down the road, there's one game that I need to look up at some point. Because I can't remember if it even released in the States. And I always wanted to play it. Cyberbots. A uh, mech-themed fighter by Capcom. So, given Akuma's popularity at the time, you know they had to have a permutation of him in there. Oh, crap. Uh, enough of that. And since I can't remember right offhand if it released in the States. I'd have to check to see about getting a modded, modded Saturn. Because I'm pretty sure just about every console that's not like a PS3 or 4 is region locked. Okay. I'm doing really badly this time around. Okay, come on. Oop. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go ahead and burn that vital star. Ah! Guess that just means those Oop. devil stars are a little bit more precious. Okay, bring out your little shooty boys. Oh, here we go. Out of the way, out of the way, out of the way. Come on. How appropriate this final boss, too, can do a Psycho Crusher. Hmm! Okay. 
Okay, I saw that action replay cartridge con comment at a glance. Oh. Get back to reading that. That's one of two cartridges that I want to get for the thing. That and the uh, RAM expansion that there is for the thing. Um, I've always wanted to play X-Men Children of the Atom with um, the best possible ability to do so. And from what I understand, the Saturn version of that game is the best, but only if you have the RAM cartridge. I was always a big fan of Capcom's fighters back in the day. It certainly wasn't a tournament pro or anything, but I sent quite a bit of time into Street Fighter, Marvel vs. Capcom. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Don't make me burn a Devil Star early, game. Oh, no. Oh, out of his way. Okay. Yeah, I gotta pop this right now. Okay. Oh, so the import car... Yeah, okay. Alright, and... Seriously, Mundus, come on. Oh. Come on. Just need like a, another hit or two. Okay, that works. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have to remember that about the Saturn games, the imports being cheaper. There's one import, though, that I know I'll probably never play, and it makes me so sad. See, when I got a Sega Saturn, there was one game that I lucked out getting for like maybe five bucks at the flea market. It was this odd field strategy game called uh, Dragon Force. Obviously no relation to the band. It had eight playable uh, national leaders for the campaign. You could control their armies. Lead generals out to the field. Okay. Time for that untouchable. Let's see. I don't think I ever legitimately beat it because it had so many cheats in there. I just I just kinda went nuts with the cheats, but the original Dragon Force is kind of pretty freaking rare. The sequel never came to the States, and I would kinda like that sequel. Okay, come on. Give me a bit more of an excuse to try and learn Japanese as well. Okay, up, come on, come on, up. Oh, the last thing I need is to be in that lava. Whew! Devil Star! Okay, let's see. Come on. Okay. Oh, this just... Okay, what the hell was that thing? <laughs> ah! <sighs> okay, so he has some little white thing he lasses around his head and swats you with. It's like every time I think I'm getting the hang on one of his little things, he just pulls something else out of his bag. Hmm. But yeah, I mentioned, um... God, was it? I just said it. Dragon Force. I mentioned Dragon Force. The company who makes that game is defunct, as I recall. Working Designs. Um, they're also famous for the Lunar series of, uh... RPGs, and they kind of... Yeah, they're not a thing anymore, sadly. But apparently they were also known for kind of going all out with, like, a lot of their games having manuals, and I think one or more of their games had, like, a cloth manual. A cloth, um, map, I mean, a cloth map in, in with the game. Okay. 
give Mooney a second to talk. Now, while I don't think this would be beneficial for this game so much, I was reading, uh, I think it was on geek.com. Can't really look away at my notes right off hand. Yeah, apparently some of the Nintendo Switch games that are better suited to a vertical layout, as long as some of the space shooters and such, oh crap, some of the space shooters and such, are um, getting that vertical layout added into those games by the developers. Apparently they thought to themselves, hey, what if we can turn this thing from the usual landscape format to portrait and render the games that way? And the Nintendo Switch is starting to look up for that. So, that'd be kind of nice to check that back on that system in a while. Doesn't really have much that interests me, but a few things that do. And that one little capability of it would be kind of nice. Fire. I kind of feel like I'm losing out firing that early, but I gotta do something because he's just. He's wailing on me and I am not dodging effectively. Come on, we little needle hands. Get it out of your system, Mooney. Okay. Okay. And. Psycho Crusher! Okay. Okay, what's it gonna be? Is it gonna be? The oh crap! Him and his. I don't know why I just can't see that as well when he's at that range. Damn it! I do not want to have to pop that damn vital star this early. Okay, gotta do it. I feel like I'm. Screwing the pooch just by doing this right now, but I got that untouchable for the second phase, so maybe I'll figure him out. Ugh. Oh crap, up. Oh. See, because he does that large third eye beam blast thing, and he usually telegraphs it with that ring, but I don't think. I feel like he doesn't always do that, and so it kind of. It's like I miss his tell. See that? Right there. Oh. It's like I knew it was coming, but I didn't notice it in time to dodge. But that was on me. That was not on him. <sighs> okay. Uh, these things are again. Quickly, can wear them down. Crap, crap. And these stupid red needles. Ah. Okay, not my worst performance there, but not exactly great. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Whoa! Okay, he's throwing those out. Come on, do I have enough for dragon power? Good. Just has that tiny little bit of health left, and I am at more of a deficit than... Oh, come on! Why? It's like, dude, you already kind of run hell. Is it like you're afraid of dying and going to super hell? I don't know, maybe if the guard and super guards in super hell, like that one in super jail, I could kind of see being apprehensive. Okay. 
Okay, not gonna watch all that again. Okay. Cutscene skip. Okay. You know what? I'm just gonna go on ahead and burn these Devil Stars to use them for my health. Because I don't have that other thing, so... Okay. Come on! Damn it, Mooney! Be a pal, alright? There's some wasted devil trigger time. That's doing nothing. Okay. Uh shit. Well, one more devil trigger before I go full untouchable. Okay, you know what? I saw that white thing before. Untouchable time. I'm not going to be able to dodge that. Because I'm not used to seeing it yet. Yep, knew it. Come on, get me out of the lava. All right, come on. I'm barely doing anything to this guy. I need to get up there with a sword, but my platforming is so bad. Not in range. Right. And just for giggles. Yeah, it does almost nothing. Okay. Did he just spawn a column of lava right on me when I finally get up in his face? I should have time for another attempt. Because oh. if I keep failing this weekend, then what I'm going to probably do is practice the first stage off stream just so I can get it down and just cut before the second one so I can do that separately. Because I don't want I don't want to beat this off screen. That's not how I how I do. I'm going to do something that's probably kind of stupid. But I want to see what happens when I yellow orb. Because I'd... I'll probably wind up having to do the entire whole fight again, but if I can just get back to the second half, then I might forego one Devil Star for the yellow orb. Okay, we get this shooter portion out of the way, and then we get onto the educational component. Okay. Oh, stupid. Let's go into this one. I hate this one. Okay. quite layering them, but he is firing them off pretty short range of each other. Okay. You know what? No. Knock it off, Mundus. I'm gonna rock the dragon early here. Okay. For the most part, this this is just a patience game. Just keep going in circles and 
put a second or two into those little defense orbs of his and just break his guard. So, if this battle was just this, yeah, I'd have handled it pretty handily by now. Okay. Alright, he's doing his Psycho Crusher. Okay, now, if I'm lucky, he'll just stick to the things that aren't the asteroids or the lightning. Ah, well, there's the lightning. Ah. Oh, crap, I forgot about those ones. He hasn't done those since I started this up today. Ah, you... Soul Mundus! <laughs> no! Ah! Stupid lightning bolos. Did not see that coming. Okay. Oh, full dragon power. Okay. Okay. Well, those things give you quite a bit of Devil Trigger when you... Oh! Oh! I'd only noticed that was a vertical one I could have moved. Okay. That's another thing I need to kind of take a look at maybe when I'm uploading this to YouTube. See if there's a different tell for the vertical beam or the horizontal one because there almost certainly is and I'm just missing it. Okay, ooh, out of the way. Ooh, boy. Please, no lightning. It's looking like... A okay. Come on. Stupid attack balls of his. Okay, which way is it going? Oh, shit. Okay, needles. Okay, I think he's kind of gone fairly easy on me this round. If I could just circle a little tighter and keep the fire on him, because hitting his wings does nothing. It just goes through them. See, this is why I didn't want to make that embarrassing Dark Souls comparison earlier, because... The, the comparison I was trying to make was the learning aspect of both games, not the fact that, oh my god, Dark Souls is so super hard, because um, I actually have played a decent bit of the first Dark Souls. I never felt that it was really hard, just that, you know, I wasn't learning it. Because everything's patterns in that game. Everything's patterns and patience. Whoa! And I think it's important in both that game and certain parts of this game, at least, to be able to pay enough attention to just kind of learn the things. Come on, come on. Okay. You know what? I'm ending this section. Yes! Okay, this gives me a few more tools to work with in this, this next part, because I didn't use the Vital Star this time. <laughs> okay, um... Just 
luck away with those. Whoa. What the hell? Oh! That was thoroughly unexpected. Okay, let's see. Mm, let's just go on ahead and ditch this holy water just because I can. <sighs> I need to get closer to him because this is... Seriously? I had to miss. Twice. Okay. Devil Star. Okay, we've got plenty of health. I've got a few Devil Stars. If this platform just can, can stay here and he doesn't knock me back, I can just wail on him. Okay. Pause. Another Devil Star. Will this be the run? Please let this be the run. Oh, he's got to be a dick now. Oh, what the... Damn it, Mooney. I'm not getting killed now. Not that easily. Okay, need more pla... Whoa, what the... need more platforms. I need to get up there. No, I'm not going to get there this time. Damn it. Okay. Look for the... Okay. Damn it. No, 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 no. Um, untouchable. Okay. I'm going to have to do this the kind of dumb way. Okay. There's no way that's going to work. Damn it! I'm not in... Oh, I am in hitting range! Nice! Uh, really? <laughs> Damn it, game! Okay, well, this is... These aren't things I can use. Oh boy. Well, this got a lot closer. Uh. Okay, they all fall behind my path. Okay, up. Oh, that's good. Come on. Give me help. Yes! Oh, that is nice. If I can just keep alive for a little longer. Oh, not this thing. Damn it. Okay. Okay, gotta just keep moving, because they follow my path. Okay. Okay. Uh, no! No, 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 damn it! Die, dragon! I need that health, and I need it now. Oh, this sucks. I did waste my Devil Star. Uh, see, about half distance I tried meleeing him. I was in that lava with the untouchable on. I couldn't go forward for some reason. Okay. Let's try this again, though. See, that's not... Did he just... What the hell just happened there? Okay. That's not working quite well. Okay. See if I can get this thing. We can get some more devil trigger back. 
I have none of those items, so it's learn or burn time. Hmm. Okay. Nice. Okay. Oh, this part sucks. Get out of the lava, get out of the lava, get out of the lava, get out of the lava. Okay. Out of the lava. And he's got his pet. Okay. If I game over here, I might just do one more run, meaning obviously the stream will go a little bit longer, but whatever. Just because I'm finally getting the handle of this. Okay, up. Okay. Oh, damn it. I could probably work on better timing for the dragon here, because, uh... Okay. Damn it. Oh. Okay, that's better. Have a little health to work with. Oh boy. What is he doing? And another dragon. See if I can get over to one of those little balls. I'm kind of split on what I'm doing right now. Oh, come on! Damn it! Mooney, you prick. Okay. I don't have enough health for Jack right now. Let's see. Round trip. I don't think I have round trip as soon as I reload. I am going to try this one more time because I don't think I have round trip, but I'm going to look that one up because I got super close that one time and I'm getting a better hang of it just all around. Okay. Okay. And I also know now that one yellow orb turned out to be fairly useful if I don't burn any, any of my items that first time around. Vital star. Okay, you right. Then I will look up how to use a round trip. Let's see if I've got that. Probably should have checked in all asters. I do not have a round trip, of course. Hmm. Well, if it's usable with Sparta, maybe I can execute it anyway with that weapon without having purchased it. That being said, I still have no idea how to do it. Moment. Again, I must face a Sparta. Strange fate, isn't it? Strange and ironic that it will end the same way. <laughs> I really has favored you this time. Look, there. Keep laughing it up, Mundus. I'm looking something up that I probably won't be able to use. Okay.
Well, IGN says to hold circle for that one since I haven't purchased it. I don't. Okay, Devil Trigger. Alaster. That Stinger and Air Raid. Okay, so it's not on that one. Okay. Well, we've got this, but I don't know how much use this is going to be. Let's see. Especially given what Sparta does. Okay. Let's see if we can shoot him in the balls more. Oh, no. You know what? No, he's doing that lightning crap. I'm doing the dragon. Right out the gate. Kind of pay for it a little bit there, but whatever. I'm sick of your crap, Mooney. Oh. Uh. And my indecisiveness at dodging. Oh, oh, come on. Uh, a little more tighter. Yes. Oh. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, upon thinking of uh, using Meteor on Mundus, it just didn't make sense. I looked it up to see how to do it, and I was thinking, no, he's already throwing... Sparta power fireballs and somehow I doubt Meteor, even if it did damage, would actually do any real damage, so yeah. That was a thought process that ended pretty quickly. Okay, needle hands. Alright, Psycho Crusher. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm gonna skip those because I always get hit by at least one of them. It's so much cooler, though, when you fire like that. Okay. See, the way this is shaking out, it might actually be, if I can live long enough, to my benefit to die at the very beginning of the next part just so that I get all my health back. Of course, that implies that I'm going to live through this part, but yeah. If I do live through this part, then yeah, dying right off the gate might actually be useful. It's not that I'm going to jump into the lava and attempt to die, but if I should happen to screw up and die right off the bat... Mm, okay. He doesn't have much left on him. Oh, those things. <sighs> At least there's a lot lower risk of being hit this part, because he does not have much health left, and neither do I. Oh, oh crap. I stayed still too long. That was on me. Come on, just a couple more hits or a little bit of Devil Trigger. Either one would be good right now. Oh, no, 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 don't... Damn it! Well, I didn't burn any of my items, so I'm going to do that. Try again. Oh, boy. You know, next time I try this mission, I might actually experiment with... Um, Buying, uh. God. Buying round trip, to see if I've got enough uh, orbs to do so. Okay.
And if I backtrack a little further in that level to see if there's like a point where I can oh, grind a few more or orbs. Not to be confused with the herbs I was about to call them. Okay. Why am I not using dragon yet? What the hell am I thinking? Oh. Oh, Jippos, yeah. Um, now, there's a phrase you won't hear me saying likely ever again outside of this context. But yeah, I didn't. I've heard of that phrase only a handful of times and did manage to happen to catch it on an episode of uh, Archer. What was his name? Woodhouse, the butler on there, was referring to them. Did not know that. Come on. Oh. If only I could look at my notes, I'd have a little bit more than dead air to say right now. Oh boy. Okay, he's doing a Psycho Crusher, so I can hold on to my dragon until next time he does something stupid that I don't feel confident I can dodge. like this whole segment. Okay, this. Okay, come on. Where the need? Oh, come on. No, no asteroids. Heck, I'm half tempted to save the dragon thing until he does the asteroids just because it looks so much cooler. He's smashing through all that rock and everything. Okay, whoop. Down. Okay. 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 And... Ha! Counter! Okay, since I have such a hard time calling whether he's going to do the vertical beam or the horizontal one. Probably should save the dragon for that part, but, you know. Who knows if I'm going to remember that for a whole week. Oh, no. Oh! That's better. And the dragon's up. Okay. Okay. Okay, that one that just hit me right there, I felt like I watched it as I flew into it. Sort of like that, but, you know, slower. You know what? Yeah, time to rock the dragon. Okay. Oh, there was one thing I forgot to mention. Um, one of my favorite things I used to do when I was a kid was read Nintendo Power, and that publication's been canceled. Another thing that I read on Geek.com, it's coming back in the form of a podcast for the moment. Apparently some of the staff at Nintendo are using it kind of doing it as a passion project. It's just something they wanted to do. And they've got the first audio podcast up on a couple of services. Here's hopeful here's um here's hoping that they can do a little bit more with it than that. I mean, even if it's just like a small column on their website, it'd be nice to see some more. Something a little more like the old publication. Alright, phase one. Yeah. That first is their first podcast is apparently on well it's on the geek webpage as well um in the article it's on itunes soundcloud and it's supposed to be coming to google play i have yet to listen to it but then again i don't do podcasts very much okay is there any way i can get close to him okay come on platforming don't fail me now okay here we go
Okay, he's... Okay, pause. Damn it, game. No. It likes to lock your ability to pause where you're in certain animations, and it just did that. <clears throat> Which, again, I'm not blaming the game because I should have predicted that. Oh. Okay, so that's the last time I'm going to try this boss, but I am going to do something right quick before I um, sign off. I want to do something just to see. I'm going to go back to that nightmare area. I want to see if there's anything before that that you can get to. Because if there's a couple more enemies there, there's a place for me to grind, even if it's just like one or two. Wow, that, that kind of makes me sad that I just... It's still more progress. I didn't get to see that dragon thing this last fight. But yeah, that was, uh, that was pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah, it is kind of odd. A lot of uh, Japanese games have the god-type final boss. Usually something that's just this hulking, massive thing. Typically with a preference to... Uh, to feathered wings. I'm hearing a thing that's moving. Come on, give me a dude. Any dude, anywhere, anytime. Give me something to shoot. Okay. <laughs> okay, what the hell? <laughs> okay, no, I'm gonna do this just because this is an experimental run. Okay. Uh, what the hell? Uh, what, what? Knock it off, guys. Okay, well, there's something to kill. This is what I needed to know and what I needed to see. So, with that said, what's going to be the payout on this guy? Because I doubt it's going to be much. Was that 22.53? Oh, right, forgot you didn't stand still in this area. Oh boy. Well, I know what I'm gonna be doing this week. Oh god. Well, I had to know. I had to know somehow there'd be somewhere to grind for folks like me who just need that little bit more health or longer devil trigger. Oh my god. The tendrils of Itagaki. Oh god. Well, that's gonna be... Ew, god, I hate saying this. That's gonna be me for the week. That that was kind of painful, actually. Um, but progress, because I think I'm actually kind of learning him. I just feel like a jerk for not being able to learn him in an hour. Um, so yeah, um... Ran a little longer than I thought I did, but whatever. That's that's not bad. Um, same schedule as always for a little while. Um, I'm going to be on Master of Arena tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, Saturday, not tomorrow. I'll be on Master of Arena Saturday at four. Devil May Cry Sunday, and hopefully I'll be able to beat this thing because I'm getting more health and I'm getting more Devil Trigger. This guy, this guy can't stonewall me for three weeks. That's just bad. Um, so yeah, next weekend, same bat time, same bat channel. I'll be right back. So, um, so yeah, that's gonna be me for tonight. Um, failure after failure, but learning from failure. Oh God! With <sighs> one of these days, I'm gonna ask you, King Thunder, about what that that genital nailing thing is. It's like. It's like, what did, what did the serpent in the rainbow do to you as... <laughs> Ow. <laughs> no, but, yeah, seriously, pounding nails through my dick? I think that would be, um... I think that would be watching Dragon Ball Evolution one more time without Rift Tracks. So, uh, I think I'm safe there. But, uh, yeah, seriously, same schedule next weekend. Master of Arena on Saturday at 4, this Sunday at 4, and I want to mop this, mop the floor with this guy next week. So, 
that's going to be me. That's going to be Navigator EX signing out. And um, I've got a few things to handle before hopefully it starts snowing. Nothing too sinister. So maybe we'll be able to have a white Christmas because it's that time of year and everything. So, all right, where's the mouse? Ah, I have one monitor. Can't find my mouse. But yeah. So yeah, that'll be me signing out. And thank you for stopping by. It's it's always fun. It's always fun to to chat, and it's always fun to beat my head a little bit against the wall. So we'll be back to doing that next week, but hopefully less painfully so. And if I beat the game, I'm jumping straight into Devil May Cry 3. So, uh, that's what I'm going to do then. And thanks again, and Merry Christmas. Or insert other seasonal holiday here as applicable. <laughs> Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, Ramadan. I'm trying to think of some others. There are actually people who celebrate Festivus, so I'll throw that one in there too. Just, just because I can. So, I've said signing out two times. Yeah, really doing it this time. Navigator EX, signing out. Thank you. And... Mm, there it goes.